Alright, so um, first and foremost, um, I would like to ask, um, when did you realize that fashion was your thing? Was it a gradually thing that um, was born? Um, in fact, it's since uh, I'm teenagers, like 12 or 13, mm -hmm. I find that myself is very like to um, uh, like trading. I like to sell things. I like to sell things. So we are we are the kind like using the um, this uh, Saidiana, the money, the fake money to do a trading at home. Uh -huh. You know, with my cousins. You know, so from there I know that I like to be like tradings. Then from there also I like to dress up. So it's like a dress up and also trading since I'm teenagers. Right, interesting. So, um, do you have any other hobby besides looking at clothes all day? Um, for the latest hobby for me is the I like to um, uh, visit the social media for the um, this uh, for the popular social media to observe their lifestyle, their traveling, um, their traveling uh, style. You know how they take photo. It's interesting. Every day have a new things on the social media. Mm -hmm. It's like a newspaper. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah. So, does it consider as like a work as well? A job for you? Um, it, it is a work. It's also a hobby. It's a, because when I find, when I search that, I find it's very enjoy. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. All right. So um, you left school and started working at a retail brand in L. Yes. Um, what was it like back then to start working at a young age? And how old were you back then? Um, it's a sixteen and a half. Okay. Sixteen and a half. In fact, I'm very uh, thankful to my uh, first, uh, my first uh, boss. You know, my first boss in L, who gave me the advice. Uh, actually, uh, I don't like to study. Honestly speaking, I like to work. You know, I like to earn my own money, and I can do. Um, I can do uh, my own shopping. I can give the, my money to my parents. You know, so uh, then my first boss uh, uh, is her name is Chris. She say, uh, Matthew, okay, um, you are young. You know, I mean, so I give her a chance. Mm -hmm. I guess she says she give me a chance. Then, uh, but you don't work here and there. You know, you work here long for me at least uh, five years. Yeah. Then I say yes. I I I, mm -hmm. I say yes to her. Uh -huh. Then after that, okay, then she find she she she's very happy and of course um that time she only give a young people a chance but to me I really appreciate her because um because of her so I enter to this uh, industry nice. because uh, during that time uh you know uh, fashion retail is not the industry for men or boys. You know, the time I was a boy, so it's not really. It's uh, mostly ninety nine percent is uh, women. Mm -hmm. mm. um, how was it back then juggling school and work at the same time? Um, in fact, I start work very early. You know, I mean, I'm. I think it's. Uh, I just uh, finish my SPM, then I immediately I work. Oh, I see. Yeah, right. I immediately I work. Mm. What was your biggest challenges back then? Um, my biggest challenges is uh, the first, of course, is uh, English because uh, L is international brand, yeah. so we need to speak English, you know. So, uh, but but then I find that the uh, I learn from my colleague. Of course, I also learn from the customer because uh, those customer they are very elder. They they train me like how to pronounce the color correctly, how to address a fabric. Actually, sometimes it's the the customer is the one who like teach me back. Mm -hmm. yeah, so honestly, basically, you learn how to speak from customer, from you know, communication, from, from from customer, mm -hmm. and also the challenge is uh, how to work with uh, uh, the coworker because yeah. uh, during the when, when 16, 17 we are very ego. Yeah. So the colleague find that wow, this young men are very ego, you know. Mm -hmm. But then that time we don't know. But now I think that wow, I was a, a very ego <laughs> person, yeah. you know. Yeah. So um, it's not easy to serve female customers. Sometimes mm -hmm. even they don't know what they actually want. Mm -hmm. Um, is that true? And how did you manage to prove yourself to L? Mm. To me, it's the first uh, when you want to serve a customer, right? You have to understand them, uh, make a conversation with your customer. Mm -hmm. Because uh, if you don't make a conversation with them, they are in the good mood or bad mood, you also don't know. Because good mood, you also can buy things. Sometimes bad mood also, there is a shopping therapy. Mm -hmm. So you have to really communicate with customer first. Only you know their heart. They are feel sad, why they are feel sad. They are happy, why they are feel 
like a happy mm. you know so it's a uh, because to me uh, shopping is not just we need something it's also we want something mm. for ourselves to make us happy you know mm -hmm. exactly. especially nowadays I believe the consumer the wardrobe have a, a lot of clothes huh? why they still buy clothes is because they also want to make themselves happy yeah exactly um so how long did you work for Al actually Again, sorry. How long did you work for L? Uh, six years. Six years. Six did you get promoted? Yes. Uh Oh yes, uh, I'm from. I, I work as a part time, mm -hmm. part time first. You know, you know that time is like three, three dollars. You know, mm -hmm. so after that I get promoted to the full time. It's by step full time, then senior. Of course, it's a essence supervisor, supervisor, area supervisor, step by step. You know. Wow, the, amazing. It's a, it, it's not suddenly it's not uh, yeah. so it's uh, really by step by step. Every year or two years only uh, promote. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Mm -hmm. So there was one time the economy was in a tight situation oh. and you had a certain idea for a collaboration with banks and private shopping. Mm -hmm. um, can you tell us more about that and how did you come across this idea? Uh, in fact, I find that this is um, the... We need to talk to our customer. Mm -hmm. uh, either, actually, the banker is uh, one of the customer. Okay. One of the customer. Mm -hmm. So, you know, when we serving customer, maybe we will ask customer the customer profile or their name card from that I know oh she's a vice president for that time she's, she's a CMB uh, she's a vice president in the customer service mm -hmm. so from there uh, we, we click we click together and we know that oh I mean sir, uh, you have your customer data and I have my brand mm -hmm. so why don't we doing collaborations uh, together we start with like kind of the private shopping mm -hmm. then the response is good and we are started to do more like a uh, tier up promotions you know with the with the bank actually uh, honestly speaking that time we are the very first to to do this because uh, what we're talking about is uh, 14 years ago for uh, 14 14 years ago so it's a very very early uh, stage for the bank collaboration with the retail mm -hmm. yeah now it's very common right the restaurants you know but that time is a really really beginning set because a uh, bank is bank retail is retail you know we're just using their machine for the transaction but not really in the collaborations yeah. so technically the idea came from yourself um, might be you, know, you, you could say sure. that yeah, <laughs> but, so, your qualification is your years of experience and proving you know your stuff um, so most fresh graduates these days are having a hard time to get a job because uh -huh. when they find a job they need experience but they mm -hmm. don't have a job so therefore they don't have experience and thus they don't have a job so what are, what is your thoughts on this um, actually, uh, to me, uh, I start working very uh, young. Uh, if I if I have chance to, uh, if, for example, if I have chance to complete my uh, graduations, I might start work at twenty one or twenty twenty two. Yeah. Um, actually, to me, the um, for those uh, very uh, I also young for those young or teenagers people they try not so rush to like I want to join I want to be have a high salary I want to be uh, like CEO or, or whatever the end of the day position is just a, a position the title the, 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 the title yeah. uh, the important is uh, the value of you in a company mm -hmm. to me uh, uh, even the the most um, humble position in a company is also paid a very uh, important role to me uh, I respect all, all of my uh, retail staff uh, now you know I ask I always, uh, every day also uh, greet them I ask their feedback you know uh, also some kind of like uh, not only just an uh, employee and employer it's also like a friend but I make the, this uh, line very clear mm -hmm. mm, so basically because, um, you have to start gradually and earn it right mm, yes mm -hmm. correct Alright, so um, you have a philosophy when it comes to hiring new stuff. Um, mm -hmm. Attitude first, skills mm -hmm. second. Can you tell us more about this? Mm, because I find uh, uh, during I work in the retail for wow, it's uh, fifteen years. Uh, so I do uh, people interview me, of course. Then I also interview a lot of the uh, different different position. Yeah. The end of the day, I find that um, uh, if you're high educated, but 
you don't respect people also is cannot you know because uh, people won't teach you more you are you you will be still that if let's say you start with the very humble uh, attitude then people surrounding you is uh, more willing to share knowledge with you to teach you then you can grow very easy mm. although you are the um, some kind of people say not a smart people but usually not a smart people usually they will have the high position at the end of the day I, I realize this you know so uh, those are really really um, maybe the head of the head of the company or the head of the department some kind mm, why not so sharp this person but in fact they are very friendly mm-hmm. they are very people feel like oh I, I'm okay I, I'm, I'm good to work with you mm-hmm. I feel uh, like comfortable so this is a really really important compared to skills mm, yes so attitude of course skill is also important it's also important though, yeah. but skill can be polished to me yeah. days to day so if uh, the, the attitude is correct so the skills can be improving day to day yeah that is true yeah. alright so now let's talk about active fashion and mm-hmm. what is your goal for active fashion uh Wow, okay, it's a big vision. We want to become the leading kids wear uh, in uh, Malaysia for these uh, five years first. Then uh, we'll expand to the Southeast Asia for the next uh, seven to eight years. All right, that's yeah. amazing goal. Yes. Hopefully you'll get there. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. All right, so now you also collaborated with Amber Chia Academy to train on little junior models. Mm-hmm. Where this, wait, were this mostly for junior lookbooks? Yes, it's um, thanks Amber. Amber is our very good friend. So uh, uh, why we will choose Amber Chia to train the kids, uh, our customer kids also. So it is because uh, I find that she is a very passionate in, of course, in the this uh, modeling industry, mm-hmm. and also her love to the kids. To me, is a very passion because you know, when you train one, two kids, you know, okay, it still can manageable. When you train twenty kids together. Totally is very it's not easy. Yeah. It's new when you look Chaos. at our backstage our backstage before the show. Wow. But thank God every time when we're doing fashion show running for the kids, right? On the front they all look very professional. Mm-hmm. So uh, this also makes us uh, find that, okay, uh, you know, nowadays kids, uh, they are very busy for the study. At least uh, for from the fashion, the kids have the chance to enjoy the uh, the runway mm-hmm. because uh, this um, will make them more um, confidence, you know, and also a good memory uh, for their child to me. Will you continue to use um, the kids who have been trained for to be models for your line? Yes, I will do that because uh, many of the kids already is I'm, I'm the uncle of them right, you know here so they will they will uh, they will say oh when is the next uh, events uh, when is the next uh, fashion show yeah. can I participate you know every day I received uh, this uh, private message or some mm-hmm. message is from the social media mm-hmm. they they are they are like oh when is the next events you know they're so, excited yeah for example our next uh, this uh, Kenzo Kids uh, events in July so it will be the huge uh, events you know in the fall season mm-hmm. so they already say okay please uh, reserve uh, two kids three kids uh, for this uh, fashion show mm-hmm. from there I know that these occasions is make them very enjoy because uh, when one kids uh, like perform in the runway the whole family is there mm-hmm. it's very they are very very enjoy that moment mm-hmm. yeah. fantastic so mm-hmm. um, kids fashion has been changed dramatically it is not as, as simple as what we have seen back in the 90s mm-hmm. um, all this fashion makeup and beauty how does it develop a child's character in the long run you think um, to me right I mean the uh, clothing especially when we are selling the designer clothes okay mm-hmm. uh, so our price range is um, is uh, not low, you know, and why uh, the consumer need to buy uh, like a so expensive uh, clothing for the children. But to me, uh, it's a must to buy for their it's expensive group for the children because um, the the kids willing to shopping together together with the parents and um, and uh, they they're willing they're willing to you know that they're willing to uh, dress what parents ask right it's only the very short period and usually uh, from my regular customer I find that uh, uh, one piece of clothes can wear at least uh, two years or three years so it's very worth so it's a very worth 
so then I find that it's uh, this is the um, is is a uh, is a different era. Now it's also a different um, era. So I mean, uh, generations. A uh, uh, kids is uh, they 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 know. They they know what is the uh, good and what is the uh, uh, not so good. Yeah. They are uh, when they parents are uh, yeah when, when their parents are uh, buy something nice to them, they they will feel uh, very appreciated to their parents. Mm -hmm. I can I can feel that. But of course, uh, I, I I not mean we have to spoil the kids, right? Yeah. Uh, from there we uh, educate the kids. Oh, this is a nice thing. So from there they will learn how to appreciate the nice thing. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So what is your vision for the fashion industry in Malaysia? Mm, honestly speaking, uh, why I start to do, why I like transform to do in the kids fashion is because uh, I find that uh, the fashion in Asia, you know, is uh, led by, is led by, you know, uh, uh, the piracy is like Japan, uh, Hong Kong, uh, you know, it means uh, uh, Singapore, you know, I, I, what I mean is in the adult fashion. I just hopefully um, uh, in Malaysia, we can lead the kids fair fashion trend in Asia. Mm -hmm. To me, at least, uh, you know, we can lead this trend. Yeah. Uh, that fashion is very large. Huh? Maybe from there, my customer grow. So this customer can lead the trend for the maybe Southeast Asia or Asia. Mm -hmm. At least uh, from kids, they already like have the good exposure because uh, many of my customer kids is already on the magazine's cover. Mm -hmm. uh, they are already in the magazine's cover. So uh, you know, you know, we just search their name in the Google. It's already appear their their profile. profile mm -hmm. So from very young, they already start to build up their uh, their this uh, reputation in the right way so yeah. this will be grow better instead of their start when 20 or 30 yeah. is considered too late because in the future I find that for the next generation um, it's not about the education of course education is important, education is yeah. important too it's not about the, this um, it's not about attitude it's about the, also the exposure and it's, it's also uh, as about the confidence mm -hmm. to the so this is also important for the for the next generation mm -hmm. so I therefore I suggest uh, parents right I mean um, it's not to just uh, put your kids to the library or just uh, put your kids to the sports is enough it's overall yeah. of course it's not also you know nowadays uh, I find that parents also uh, try to uh, fit the kids with the dance everything also not you have to find that anything can make your make your kids to be have the wider view have the good vision so then the kids will carry on themselves uh, uh, the broader uh, horizon yes yeah. mm -hmm. um, so you have come a long way to get to where you are today so what is the one thing that you could say that you're proud of um, in this journey? Mm, to me, I, le I keep learning every day. I, I'm not just learn from my uh, my seniors, uh, maybe uh, from the very, uh, uh, of course, uh, from my business partner also. I mean, it's, uh, Brian, who shared with me a lot of the knowledge in the business and also the public relation. Mm -hmm. uh, to me, I learn from the new generation. I also learn from the kids because uh, to me, kids could a uh, kids could look very shy, mm -hmm. you know. But when you really talk to them, they have their own mind. And also, they're very honest and straightforward, right? Uh, uh, yes, yeah, straightforward, honest. Now, nowadays the kids they are like wow, very you know. Okay, uh, they are really they have their own idea. If if you want to discover them, they are the little adult to me. I realize, uh, else you look oh, all kids are same <laughs> actually all of them their mind is think in a different way yeah. because I work with the kids every all the time yeah. so when I talk to them eh? wow I thought it's a kid huh? but not really mm -hmm. you know, because I try uh, during my last event I try to interview uh, kids uh, by myself so like a uh, same question I, I thought they would answer the same way. Do you like what color blue or red? No. They, they, they will answer the color with the story behind. Mm -hmm. Not just answer the... Yeah, yeah. I thought they would just answer yellow, orange. No. Mm -hmm. They will answer something more than my expectations. Yeah. 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 Um, so, do you have any expansion plans that you can share with us going forward? Uh, okay. 
uh, our first uh, flagship store in Pavilion KL. Mm-hmm. Then uh, recently, this two, uh, this uh, second quarter, we opened in this uh, Isetan KL City, and uh, the latest iconic uh, hotel, second tallest uh, hotel in town, is the Four Seasons Kuala Lumpur. Mm-hmm. So we opened in this uh, shoppers Robinson uh, at the kids floor level three. Uh, the next one, uh, okay, is a probably next year we will open in Johor mm-hmm. or Malacca. Johor Malacca. Then of course uh, Sabah Sarawak and also the Penang. But uh, now I also looking for the uh, uh, right partner to be there because uh, to me is a uh, uh, I'm. I'm not like one to like open everything by my company. We could have a, a partner in uh, maybe Sabah or Sarawak. So they know better for the market in Sabah and Sarawak, maybe in Johor or Penang. Then we will look at the business partner there to open to look in, maybe Sabah, maybe in Penang. Yeah. yeah but that's we a will thing to yeah, do, yeah. But our training but our training and also our uh, fracture store it will be in the Kuala Lumpur. All right. Yeah. Um, so now lastly, before we end our interview, uh, mm-hmm. do you have any advice you could leave us with um, for our interview? Uh, what advice? Yeah. Fashion advice, business advice, any mm, advice? To me, is uh, uh, when we want to spend time with the, with, with the kids, right? Uh, do, do uh, like, like um, spend time with them, like uh, discuss uh, how to how to uh, uh, dress up. Because actually, to me, is um, uh, people will find that oh, uh, shopping is a wasted wasted uh, uh, money. You know, I mean, so we we'll be spend a lot. To me, is um, uh, every day we also eat. You know, every day we also eat. You know, uh, nowadays people also go for traveling and yes. they, they spend a lot of money for traveling. Yes. To me, is uh, spend some money to your kids to. Uh, uh, to enjoy because to me I, I, I know from my customer right I find that some customer why they why they really uh, wow I mean uh, you know they, they really spend uh, money to their kids more than themselves I ask them you know I say oh because uh, I'm really happy when I see my kids uh, dress up so nice mm-hmm. uh, I say uh, yeah, your kids seem dressed better than you I say, no never mind I just let my kids uh, wear nice because uh, this is the moment uh, my, my kids only six years old for this year it will not happen again mm-hmm. or oh, from that I know that the the customer why they will be like um, uh, I, I actually I can I, I can feel uh, they're not really um, they're not really uh, um, specific they're not really uh, uh, look for the they're, they're not really look for the product or, or brand or whatever they really love the kids you know so oh, because of during my interview in the Tyler I, I find that they are really expressed and they are loved through the clues you know because uh, to me it's a, a house we have the big house uh, how many people you can invite to your house you have the big you have the big car the car drop price every day mm-hmm. but the nice clothes you can wear it every day on your body mm-hmm. and you can see it every day that's why I find that uh, uh, clothes uh, people say a watch is a good investment they can say car they can say property to me clothes is the best investment <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. I mean it, get, okay. it gets you where you are today so yes yeah. yeah. alright thank you Matthew for joining me on Talking Points thank you thank you for your time and, and let me have the opportunity to share with for everyone's here. Yeah. Of course. And now we're taking a short commercial break and we'll be right back after this. Okay.